guys, it's me, Malu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. Obviously, by the title, we are revisiting a brand that we recently tested out. I tried one size a little bit earlier this month, and I had to go back to try two products that you guys were raving about. Like, if you're going to try those two, you got to try these. So, today, we are going to be testing out the Until Dawn setting spray as well as the Ultimate setting powder. And I'm also going to be testing out of our trend I've been seeing with the pink under eye. So I have this setting powder in the ultra pink shade and I have some other little products we're going to test out to see if this trend works for my skin tone, if I can kind of play around with it. So if you're interested in hearing about one size or seeing me test this trend out, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and start our application. I look casket ready right now because I did go ahead and put on my foundation. Um, you can click here to check out the video I did reviewing the foundation and the primer. So that is on. I just did a quick, quick little brow. I'm just going to the movie, so no lashes, um, but I just wanted to kind of get the base down. I'm so mad because all week my skin has been acting totally fine and today I had a friend decide to come visit me. So. We're trying to push through. So the two products, as I said, that we're gonna be trying today are the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in the shade Ultra Pink and the On Till Dawn Spray. Now, I tried the foundation and the primer and I surprisingly liked them and people, multiple people, everybody was like, you gotta try the setting spray and you low-key need to try the powder. I have, of course, now I'm gonna see it even more. I have been I have been being fed this pink under eye fairy godmother situation. Um, it's been a little tricky to really find, of course, as many versions on darker skin and things like that. So I want to play around with that today as well as trying out the product. So first things first, you know we're going to get into the details. The Ultimate Blurring Setting Powder. I did get the travel size. Um, I got this for Black Friday. I got the travel size because I wasn't sure. How I'm gonna feel about this powder itself. Um, but it just says a finely milled blurring powder for all day wear, shine control, softness, finish, and the ultra pink shade says for fair to medium tones. Um, but we'll again see how this shows up. Typically, I do use something more like the Sasha Buttercup, um, Huda Hanif Kanifa kind of shade. I think that's what the shade is, but it's like a golden shade. So I got this on sale but regularly. She is $34 for the full size. And the travel size, I believe, is $18. Yes. So she's $18. And then for the Until Dawn, now I saw this, of course, over the summer. She went viral. People were saying they think this is the spray that Beyonce was wearing when she was performing on the tour and all that kind of stuff. So I did go ahead and get this. I am an all-nighter girl. I literally just bought all-nighter not too long ago. But people are saying you got to have this one. She's mattifying waterproof setting spray and a 16 hour mattifying performance setting spray all day finish they even have a limit up to nine per order because the girls are really buying them this is the full size for 32 dollars you can also get the travel size in set for 17 dollars and it is like an aerosol kind of spray so we can open her up let's see make sure it's got a little safety tab on it and we're just gonna apply her. I was gonna do like a side-by-side -side situation for my under eye, but I'm actually, I do actually have to leave my house, so I'm going to just try the pink and just hope I don't look crazy. Making sure this doesn't look sprayed. Let's get into it. Honestly, I have full size of different powders and they last so long that I probably will still go to buying travel size in every powder. So this is as big as it looks here. Some of my friends have the um, brown shade that they have. They have like a translucent, a brown, and then this pink. And my friends have loved the translucent, I mean the brown shade. So I have hopes. I gotta just try it, especially for deeper skin tones. I just gotta know. I gotta know if this trend works for us too, how it looks in real time. So let me get this open. When it comes to opening packaging, my nails are gonna turn on me every time. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna try to lean into this trend realistically. I don't just wanna throw on pink product. I'm gonna start with my under eye. I have my Pat McGrath that I used in that video. I did go out and buy this Juvia's Place um, liquid blush. The one that I normally use is Citrus Rose. I kind of like this corally color, but I did go in and get Rosy Posy. I'm gonna try to use that for like our pink accent. So we're gonna play with some under eye today. I have my mirror here if you guys see me looking down just so I can try to see what you're seeing. 
But let's just do our under eye. Let's just get into it and we can test this powder out. I'm in my brush era. Brushes, the finish is just, you know when you, when you try trends or when you switch things up, like sometimes you go back to how you did it before and you're like, why did I try something new? Why did I do something different? That's kind of how I am with my brushes right now. I'm like, this is so good. I love that the girls are, I feel like doing makeup videos more again. And I don't know when people like, I, it's feeling makeup be again to me. I'm going to try to use Rosie Posey. I've never done this before. So if I have to wear big glasses tonight, we know why. The girls I'm seeing are just kind of like, almost doing it like a really high blush and then blending it all together. So it's not quite like under eye concealer, but it's not quite blush. Some girls are going right under with the pink. I can always add more, so I'm going to hold on that for right now and just see what we can just get normally. I really wanna let this dry down. Oh, I decided to get tacky. I gotta get my lip wax for vacation and everything next week. Okay, so let's let this dry down a little bit and just see. I'm starting to see whatever I see, like 2016, 2023 makeup. I'm always like, the 2016 for me. There's a reel that's going, or I think it's a TikTok, whatever, one of the videos, and it's Uche, and she's saying like, a little bit of makeup's not gonna get you that look that you want. I want the full beat. I saw a picture of me and my friends from 2017, obnoxiously beat, I want the faces beat. Give me the trends that don't age well. I don't care. I want the full glamour. I get it. COVID, natural. Ugh, I get it. Let's get in drag. That's what I want. I want full beat drag. I'm going to start blending out the areas. Oh, I forgot. I got this cute new little paint thing and I was supposed to use. And I didn't use it. Maybe I'll need it when I start to mix concealers. Because I could mix here first on this little painter's thing and then put on my face. Maybe I'll try that next time. We're experimenting. This is a Real Techniques brush, which I've had forever, and I started using for other random things, forgetting how great she is for blending out concealer. If you're looking for a great detailed foundation video, now that I just mentioned it, or like your base video, Uche just uploaded her full base routine. It is very detailed, uh, but I'm enjoying it. She talks about YouTube a little bit and stuff, like everybody, you know. Some people are leaving their channel, some people are saying they're not, their, people aren't getting their videos, and all that kind of stuff, and I think that's very true. Um, but I just think you just gotta keep going. I feel like people say dance like nobody's watching. I feel like post when nobody's watching. Like, yeah, the views are down and stuff. I don't know what out, you know, what YouTube's doing with the algorithm, but I enjoy it, so I'm gonna keep posting. My views have, you know, they're skewed. Even my mom be like, I didn't even see that you got a video, my notifications are on. But I'm, you know, we move. I'm gonna still post because I enjoy it. Okay, there's some pink happening. I don't know if you guys can see. I mean, the color theory makes sense. Pink, you know, I could see how that could work. Maybe if you're more neutral toned. Hopefully, I just don't look you know, I don't want it to look costumey, but I do like kind of the fairy godmother effect that I feel like it was giving like this whimsical wood nymph like kind of Disney effect is what the pink was giving the girls. I just want to see if it works on deeper skin tones. We could be, you know, get my Tiana. We could be a Disney princess. Okay. I guess like making your face flushed. Okay, I'm not mad at the pink. We're testing all the things right now. We're testing the, the viral pink under eye trend, but also we're gonna test this powder. I did not mean to drag this out this far, but now we've committed. I go on vacation next week, and like I said, I wanna be in dis like disgustingly beat, so it's good for me to test these things out now. I'm going to Go on with some more pink. If we go try the pink trend, let's try the pink trend. I'm notorious for going too far once I decide like I'm gonna test something out. So let's see, oh, well. Also, the Juvia's Place blush, I didn't do like a full video on it, it's pigmented. So I probably didn't need to do that much, but we're gonna see. I'm excited, let's see, I'm excited. Let this dry down some. Get a little tacky, get a little sticky. 
I think I'm gonna do a little bit more concealer in the corner here too. I should have got my Huda to get a little lighter. But yeah, that was just a mini, I was gonna do a vlog and mention that whole kind of like, just posting, you know, views aside. I always tell people who say they wanna start YouTube channels, it's not too late, but like, be ready to post when something gets 60 views. Be ready to post when something gets two likes. Be ready to post when something gets 300,000 views. The funny thing is a lot of times you never know what video is gonna do that. Are you posting because you want the views or because you're posting because you enjoy it? If there's one brown girl who's in the Sephora right now looking to see if the pink under eye trend is gonna work on her and she finds my video and she's like, ooh, I like that, then I've done what I need to do. I'm kind of obsessed with this pink. I don't know if it's because that's my jam, clearly, but it's, it's gonna be like a Barbie. When I put on the lash, well, I put on the lash, yes, we're still gonna get to the one side. It's a little bit of a, we're doing all the things. I'm feeling good, okay? We're doing all the things. I need my fan. I really want this to dry down fast. Okay. I feel like I should sponge it for this, but let's let's brush. The brush is good, full coverage. The brush is gonna do it for you, airbrush. The beauty blender is going to blend, obviously, and it's going to, you know, give you that kind of seamless, natural finish. But if you want coverage, seamless coverage, then, okay, I'm, I'm losing it because I kind of like that. Am I losing it? If you want the seamless airbrush look, it's the brush for me. Am I going crazy that I like that? Okay. Okay. I was listening to a podcast and she was talking about rosacea in black women and not to be funny, but I want to make sure it doesn't look like splotchy or, you know, like not makeup purposeful. I don't want it to just look like my face is just flushed oddly okay so we're definitely i leaned into the pink which is what i said if we're gonna do it let's try the trend if we're gonna do the trend i am gonna go on with my real techniques sponge and just make sure i smooth all that out now that i've got the coverage looking up so we don't crease so i think you can definitely see the highlight and you could definitely see the pink like the, it's not lost that we've we've used a pink accent. So now I'm gonna go into the powder again. I'm gonna use the. I'm actually not gonna use the brush for the powder. I am going to use the triangle puff. I really like how that gets under the eye. So this is. I don't want to tell you too much, but it's literally a light pink powder. They are not the first brand to have a pink powder. Huda also has um, a pink powder as well. I think people just. You know right now i really like their brand and like this trend so i'm just going to tap a little bit off not too much because i want to get the product and i'm just going to press we're not going to bake i'm just going to press it under my eye okay i see a slight pink but again i did use pink product i will also try this without the pink just to see if you get any more brightness using the powder with your regular concealer than you do using a yellow. But like I said, I wanna try something fun. Who cares if you look back in a couple years and you're like, why is my under eye pink? Who cares? Whatever. Why are my eyebrows blocky? Why did we have on blue eyeliner? Why did we put on lip liner? Whatever. At the time, we were the girls. At the time, it was a look. And that's all that matters. But did you die? I probably wanna tap a little bit off. I don't know, I'm kinda of like, let's just go in. Okay, so pack it under, pressing lightly. I will say color aside, it's doing a great job of like mattifying soft finish, 100%. Yeah, that's doing a great job of that finish. I mean, it's like, that took my pores away very quickly. So I didn't put any pink up here. I just used regular concealer and that's still mattifying and I don't feel like it has a weird pink finish. Huh, okay, I kinda like that. I usually like a very honest, like I really like a really gold, a really warm um, highlight and color, but I kinda like that softer, hmm, interesting. Okay, okay. 
And again, it could be seasonal. It could be like, that's really, this is really good for the daytime. Maybe you want to go more golden at night. Maybe it's summertime and then this is more winter. Like this, like I said, this wood nymph kind of like thing going on. I think I'm going to contour a little bit. Um, just to, I kind of want to still, I want to contour and I want to do a little bit of blush. I know that I just put on pink, but I'm still going to try to see about just adding dimension using my actual blush where I usually do it and just see, see what that does. We're going to play with that a little bit. This is not what I typically would use this Morphe brush for, but I just really want to work with blending all these together nicely. Let's say hello to my little friend. Warm that face up some. I'm just looking to see like if it's giving she's sick and she's like had a stuffy nose all day. If it's giving inflamed or what. I feel like she's gonna need a lash. Some stuff you just need a lash. Some stuff like the dramatics just make more sense with a lash, but I'm gonna work it out. See how pigmented that is? I'm gonna blend it all together. Don't fear. It's very few things that a strong blend can't fix. Let's contour a teeny bit because I'm feeling like I don't have any dimension. See how much more lifted that side looks immediately with a little contour. Okay, I'm gonna bronze Charlotte Tilbury. Just pack that one more than I expected. Okay, so this is it right now. Like I said, that's why makeup is fun because you can play. I feel like I might have leaned into the pink blush too much or maybe I should have just done the pink powder with just the regular concealer. But again, I wanted to see this under eye pink trend. I want to play with it a little bit more. I think I'm definitely probably going to do like a, you know, maybe just a reel or something. Just trying it again and doing a side by side like I said. Because it's, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not totally against it. Again, I, like I said, I feel like a lash would make... A big difference because a lash certain looks need certain like accessories certain things I feel like work I'm gonna go in because I'm going somewhere I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty um, in the shade Kanafa which is kind of like this golden just to kind of balance this pink out a little bit I haven't sprayed yet I do like that one size powder I really like the finish of it and the like pore blurring I definitely I definitely saw that it definitely was a matte but not drying kind of thing um, I'm going to look up and just kind of make sure I don't get any like powder increases and just try to balance the pink out a little bit with some golden to brighten. Because like I said, I don't want it to look like, you know, clown pink. But I definitely, I definitely want to play with that more because I don't hate it. There is something that I like about it. Okay, and that honestly balanced it that easily, that fast, that balanced that out. So, we'll play and see. I'm definitely gonna try it again. Boom. I don't need any more deep powders, but I would be interested in that translucent. Um, just, I have never been like a big white powder kind of girl. Like I said, I usually go for the golden. So now we're going in with the Trying to make sure this sound full. Going in with the Until Dawn aerosol spray. The only other aerosol that I have is Morphe, um, but it's a little bit more of a mist. I've heard this is a really good, like, I don't know, even aerosol. So let's see what she says. I know it's just gonna say spray, but shake well for each use and keep eyes closed 12, 10 to 12 inches away. Spray in circular motion for even distribution. Ooh, that is even. I like that. Because the thing about the Morphe one is you can feel the droplets. It's almost more of like a versus a shh. Does that make sense? If you know what I mean? I like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So here we are, guys. I I like the just powder alone color all things aside I really like the finish of this I really like the blurring and I like this little travel size um I did not like the Huda Beauty travel size packaging it has this weird brush on the top it's really messy so when I travel 
I will probably take this one with me. I'm interested to see it over just the regular concealer, if that does anything, um, mixing the two. I actually do like this finish now. It's not too pink, but I still see that hint of that pink. Love this. This spray, love that. That shh versus the tss. If you have the Morphe, you know what I mean. I don't feel like I saw any moisture droplets or I could like dissect the spray when I sprayed this one. It just went on my face evenly versus the Morphe. It's more like a spray bottle aerosol. That makes sense. So definitely excited for her. I'm going to wear her all night and see how this goes. Same for her, see if I have anywhere moving around, but color and texture wise, I really do like this. And 18 for this size isn't bad um, compared to the ones I usually buy. And this isn't bad compared to all nighter. If you normally get like a drugstore, then it might be a little pricey. But if you spend all this time and money on your makeup and then it moves, you kind of wasted it. So I really like this. This is an absolutely, this is a maybe. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yay!